I don't know about these. Um, hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show, and we're back. I'm back, the fleece is back, Dan's still here, I don't know how, and we are going back to the Market Basket in Bedford, which I think is like the last place you guys saw us. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there was a global pandemic. Me and Dan have been working from home. There's been a lot of developments. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but don't worry. I'm gonna fill you guys in on everything that's been going on soon. But right now, I'm really just trying to capitalize on some of these viral videos about how to clean your produce and your groceries. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go shopping today, then we're gonna show you how to clean these groceries and get the ronies off them. So we're heading back to the to the market basket in Bedford because we feel like it's the cleanest option and that they might have a more fancy strain of coronavirus where you just get like a little bit of a tickle in your throat and some of a runny nose. So we'll see. Um, hope you guys are all hanging in there. I have a lot of thoughts and emotions, but they're still not fully percolated, but soon they'll spill over like a cauldron and then I'll make a video. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not gonna record in the store. I'm trying to, we're trying to be fast and I don't want to be touching everything, my phone and stuff, but just giving you a little intro. I guess really this is a pointless intro because we're not going into the store, but what do you think? Do you want to say hi? Dan? Do you want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi to the people? No. Why? They love you so much. He's like that with me too, guys. Don't worry. He does love you. It's just, you know. Dan, do you have any words of advice for me going into the store? Um, Stay close. Uh-huh. And don't touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> why, Dan, why do you act like you can't speak? What? <laughs> why do you act this way? Oh, God, everyone here has coronavirus. Okay, we're here. Wish us luck. Okay, we're back. This looks like a lot. I mean, it's not It's not a crazy amount. It's like about two weeks worth of groceries back there. But anyway, we're back. Um, it was not crazy in there at all. Just no toilet paper and no pasta. Yeah, like there wasn't a ton of shit. It wasn't like ravaged or anything though. Can we act that way all the time, even when there's not a pandemic? People were not crowding. They were being really conscientious of everyone's personal space. There wasn't any loudness. Everyone was just like keeping it real cool, calm, and collected, and I just wonder why we can't have that all the time. If it's possible, then I guess we should be just be doing that. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. Now we have Dan, who's gonna tell us exactly what to do with our groceries. Here we go. You gotta soak. What are you using to clean? Paper towel or rag with antibacterial. And make sure it's got antibacterials. All right. <laughs> Saturate. And then... Wipe down. And now tell what you learned about Frozen. Uh, if you freeze your food with coronavirus on it, it'll last up to two years. If you want to preserve the virus. If, if you there. want to re-release it, you know, make 2021 to 2022 a hell. What? <laughs> now tell why you got this for your lunch meat instead of the other stuff. Because... Uh, we're gonna be cooking this, you know? And you don't want cooking people's kills mitts all the over. bacteria, yeah, exactly. You don't want people to be touching your fucking cold lunch meat, you know? That's a little much. Yeah, it is, it's a little much. Dan, you love this because it's unleashing your inner OCD. It's giving you an excuse to be the germaphobe that you truly you are. You don't fuck the rag, let's just spray the fucking. <laughs> also, you gotta have a dirty side and a clean side, right? Because this is contaminated. Yeah, even the, the surface is junk, you know? Is my hand contaminated now? Yes, actually. You're very bad at this game. What do you mean? What about with like produce, like actual produce? That I just wouldn't touch for a day, you know? And that's down in the basement. Just leave it in your, yeah, garage or basement. What if you don't have a garage or basement? We can get fucked. So what about these eggs? The eggs we're gonna stick in the garage. And just Because it's cardboard and it lasts on cardboard for a 24 day. 24 hours. Yeah. And then chips, like we can't live without chips. Yeah, you need to clean these right now because I want some right. This and moment. if you need to clean fast, like you can do like the areas where you think people will touch most, but 
you know, we want to be thorough. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta let this sit for a little bit. No, yeah. you don't. No, yeah, you do. No. No touching. Open it and no. dump them out. No touching. Now tell me what exactly what you do. Take everything out and say, go. What? Hey, you take things out of the containers. Yeah, just take them. No, start the complete sentence. Go. <laughs> Come on, babe, you're the star. Why am I the star? Because I you're be... the expert. So what do you do? You take everything out of containers? Yeah, shit like this you just take out and put it in a bowl and let it sit for a day. Okay. Don't let the kids touch it. If you're lucky like us and don't have kids, then you don't have to worry. <laughs> what about things like this cauliflower? This, this is the same shit. We can, you can wash these in soapy water if you need them now, or you can let them sit out. And now your hands, you're gonna have to continually wash. Yeah, well, as I soak my hands with the fucking bleach or whatever that is. Can't I just take this cauliflower out of the container and put it in the fridge? Yeah. Can't I just do that? Because I like to, I usually raw dog this in the fridge anyway. What do you think, Jimmy? Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay, Jen, and the final most important step of, of sanitizing the groceries is? Polish your knobs. Your knobs. Polish your knobs, kid. I'm polishing your knobs till one night, dude. Oh. And wash your hands, right? Yeah. You can never be too careful. Ain't that the truth? The parade continues. <laughs> That's what's going on in this house. So I'll be back with um, some updates. I have a lot of good videos planned. There's going to be a lot of time for vids. Um, I feel like everyone's just kind of settling into this new normal and then... I'll be able to give the people what they want, you know? Been smoking a lot of weed, so, you know. Uh, anyway, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show. See you next time. Goodbye. You gotta saturate. You okay, gotta saturate wait. the paper towel. Hold on. Shh. Wait, I'm recording me right now. <laughs>